Have you ever had that thing where you're making out, uh, you're playing around with your partner, and you realize you're close to orgasm, but you're barely being touched? How can this be? Well, it's a thing. Paul came to see me after struggling with premature ejaculation for quite a few years. Why was he seeking help now? Partly because he'd always been too embarrassed, but mainly after having this very experience. He said he was on holiday, he was all relaxed and feeling good, and he's having holiday sex with his wife. What's not to like? And he was giving her oral sex, going down, and laying flat on his front for comfort and for the long haul. But he started to panic, because just the stimulation of lying that way and the minor movements of his head was all it took for him to be getting close to coming. Right there, just like that. And he didn't want to ejaculate, because of course this was supposed to be foreplay. Now this freaked Paul out. On his own, he could lie on his front, even aroused and hard and make all kinds of movements, and it wouldn't get him off. It's just not enough stimulation. So what is it about going down on his partner, his wife, that sends him from naught to 100 so quickly? Is that what premature ejaculation is? Well, the difference is the presence of his wife, of course, and the sexual scene, her arousal, the sounds she's making, the movements, the rising temperature, the anticipation of all that's to come. This is all very exciting, but it's tipping him towards orgasm too quickly. And this is quite common. Have you ever done that thing where you try to keep going, but you discreetly lift yourself off the bed to try and remove all sensation down there? And it doesn't work, does it? It's the sensory excitement and the anticipation that's ramping you up. And it was ramping Paul up too. So we could be pretty confident that overexcitement was a factor in his premature ejaculation. It usually is. So what did we do about this? We followed the plan. Getting Paul used to physical relaxation first, his breath, and all the way down through his body. And doing some self-stimulation work to get more aware of how excitement feels in his body. Being able to recognise the approach of the point of no return, but not being afraid of it or freaked out by it. Just knowing how to wind it back and when to wind it back. And we used this scenario, this memory of being on holiday, getting it on with his wife. We used that for a bit of mental rehearsal. And he even had an audio recording to follow, feeling fully relaxed, picturing the scene, feeling the arousal and the excitement, and staying in control, using his breath, his focus, and zooming out, enjoying, but not being transfixed on his partner's pleasure. Paul should keep doing what he's doing, giving pleasure in this way, as the main event sometimes, not just as a lead into intercourse. This is good exposure to the excitement, and it takes the pressure off his performance, of course. So Paul had a few things to work on, and this didn't get changed overnight, but it didn't take long either. The physical relaxation work was all new to him, and he really got into it. He has untapped potential here, even after years of struggling and putting up with it. I hope this gives some insights into how to approach overexcitement and to learn to ride those waves of pleasure that come along even before you've taken your pants off sometimes. Thank you for watching.